It's that time of year again when the orange, ghoulish decorations come out in store. It can only mean Halloween. But if you're anything like me, you've probably left the fancy dress to the last minute. But don't worry, we have got you covered with quick, easy, and most importantly, cheap costume ideas that are sure to impress on the day. First up, a bag of sweets. I love this one, partly because anything sweet related is a definite hit with the kids, but also because it's so simple yet super effective once you're all dressed up. First of all, you're going to need something simple as a base. We've gone for a black top with black trousers and you can either print off a logo like we've done for your sweet bag or you could get the kids to make one that they like. Take a large piece of your paper, about this big, place your balloon inside and just start wrapping like a sweet. You could even recycle old Christmas wrapping paper. Sweet. Take your bag, open it up. Here's one I made earlier. And on the closed end of your bag, you want to cut two small leg holes. Then get your child to step gently into the bag, like so. And as you lift them up, then you need to measure where their armholes are going to be on each side. I'd recommend reinforcing this section of the arm with tape, otherwise there's a risk it might start ripping. And then you just start loading up your bag. <laughs> this one's a big one. Take your logo, ruche up the bag a little bit, and you can stick or staple that wherever you fancy. But for those of you that want something even simpler, there is another way. Find a cuddly toy that looks like a goldfish and turn your child into the perfect fairground prize. This is a great example of a costume that doesn't break the bank, but still has the wow factor. I especially love all the accessories. The stripy socks are a really nice touch and just makes it that bit jazzier. This next costume is inspired by mine and my daughter's favorite TV character. Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon is an absolute legend. He can fly at the speed of light and he breathes fire. You will need either a needle and thread, a glue gun, or some fabric glue, depending what you're most comfortable with. Just bear in mind that if you do opt to sew, it will probably last for a bit longer and you can pop it in the machine wash, unless you sew like I do. This is a great costume, especially for younger kids, because it's really easy to wear and super comfy. They're going to be in black jogging bottoms and a black hooded top. You're also going to need four black squares of felt and a piece of red, white, and yellow felt. And any old black tail from a fancy dress outfit will do, but if you don't have one of these, a black sock stuffed with cotton wool or newspaper or black tights would be absolutely fine. Let's get started. These are all the shapes you're going to need. And here they are in felt. Let's start building. You should have four large black ears, two small ones, two big yellow eyes, two small ovals for his pupils, and two small circles for the whites of his eyes. For his ears, I've actually cut out the shape slightly smaller in cardboard as well. And this is just to make sure Toothless doesn't get floppy ears. Either sew or glue around the outside of the card and then stick them to your hood. And that way, when your child pulls the hood down, all you're gonna see is those big glowing eyes. For his tail, a long black piece. And Toothless, unfortunately, has a broken tail, so you've gotta have his little extra piece to go on the end, decorated with a dragon. Here's one I made earlier. I simply stuck the felt down the tail. If you're using a costume tail, it comes with a loop usually already made. You can just attach it to a child's belt. But if you are using a sock or a pair of tights, you could easily just safety pin that to your child's jogging bottoms. It's on to the wings. You can see on this one, all I've done is measured the piece of black felt against the hoodie 
and then cut the scalloped edge to give it that nice winged effect. I've then glued it down the back on both sides so that when your child spreads their wings, Toothless can take flight. And that's it. Super quick, super easy, and not too expensive at around 10 to 15 pounds, depending where you buy the tracksuit. This one's my favorite. Look at it, it's amazing. So effective. It is a little bit more expensive, around the 40 pounds and under mark, and it does require a little bit more effort than some of our other costumes. But also, it looks like this. It's great for kids if they don't wanna to make too much effort because they can just put it down if they want to part way through the night. It's also multifunctional, which I really like. It's providing shelter, but also providing light with all the fairy lights so your child is always visible on the road. You're gonna need a pale colored or clear umbrella like we've gone for here, wadding, cushion stuffing, a glue gun, super glue or needle and thread, some way of sticking it to the umbrella, lights, batteries and sellotape. Place the wadding all over your umbrella. I'm using a small scrap to demo but you can cover the umbrella in one go if your sheet wadding is big enough. Remember not to use an umbrella that you care about getting messed up obviously. Fold it under all around the edge and glue or sew into place. Stick or sew clumps of stuffing to the wadding all over, leaving a few gaps for the fake sunlight to shine through. And a few carefully placed stitches will help secure the stuffing, especially if it's windy out. Then on the inside, you're going to need eight strings of fairy lights. We've gone for little battery pack ones that you can tape to the inside of your umbrella. There's six around the sides. We've left the back clear so that there's an easy exit. And then we've got two strings of lights wrapping around the inside of our umbrella so that it really sparkles in the night sky. On the end of the dangling fairy lights, you need a bit of a weight, otherwise they start to curl around. We've gone for something that looks a bit like a raindrop. They're just little buttons or gems on the end here. And there you have it, your own personal rain cloud. Costumes for every crafting ability and every budget. If you do give any of them a go, don't forget to send us your pictures or tag us on Instagram so that we can have a look how you got on. And don't forget to subscribe for more costume videos and more parenting hacks. Go on, subscribe. And of course, have a great Halloween.